We're actually going to start lying down in Baddha Konasana. Um, so soles of the feet together, knees open. Um, do have your feet further away from your groin for a softer approach. This is the point where if you've got two blocks or even two cushions, it's really nice to actually stick something under each thigh so that when you lie down, you've got a little bit of support. Take your hands and very gently place them just on the hip crests, down by the pelvic bone, and close your eyes. So take the first couple of breaths to arrive on your mat. To feel just a very basic level, um, the skin boundaries touching the floor, the earth mat, where you make a connection to the ground. And particularly as you exhale, I want you to feel like you allow your full body weight to move towards the mat. There's something very um, delicious about consciously letting your body weight move downwards. And you have to actually be quite, um, you know, quite relaxed to do this. So just feel for that sense of ease. Keep the soles of the feet pressed towards each other, toes slightly retracting. But notice your hip flexors, probably where your hands are placed. Feel for softness, openness and space right there. Here's what we're going to be thinking about this morning. Um, we're thinking about the general um, intent of working struggle-free. This is a really big forest intent. What this means is that you approach the poses, you approach your practice with um, a sort of Goldilocks approach. This is the way I like to think about it. You find the road, the pathway, which doesn't involve A, over-efforting, really pushing hard, you know, really, it, that's a complete um, opposite to what we do in yoga. That's like the gym sensation, we're not doing that. Doesn't mean you're not working hard, we all know how strong the practice is, it's not that. It's a mindset. You're working really strong, but you're within your edges, you're not over-efforting. not pushing yourself to your limits. It's not about that. At the same time, some of us have a tendency to do the reverse. We collapse, we uh, quit. We don't like it, it feels uncomfortable. That's as much of a struggle zone as the opposite end. That means you're disconnected, you're out of body. So we're finding the middle Goldilocks space where we meet our tension halfway and we sit and we lean into the pose. Let's do three rounds of Shivananda. Take a long, deep inhale. Fill your full circumference of ribs up. The top of your big inhale, hold your breath and soften your shoulders. And then very gently exhale out through the nose, pressing the low abs down to push the diaphragm upwards. Let's do two more like this. Take a long, deep inhale, spread the ribs, press the back of your body into the floor. Hold the breath. In the held breath, notice the quiet. Let your jaw and neck soften. Exhale out through the nose. Press belly inwards. Last long breath. Deep, slow, steady breath. 
Get yourself up, even squeeze a little bit more in than you thought you could and then hold the breath. Don't hold it with a shrug or tension around the shoulders, let it be soft. Open your mouth, sigh out. Very gently take your hands to outside edge of thighs and draw them together. Move any props you might have had around and about. And then just draw your knees a little tighter in, feet flat on the floor. Take your arms into goddess, do a supine twist. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower both knees to the right. Feel for pressing down through the left shoulder, front of chest as you open up into the twist. Take a long, steady breath into the upper left side ribs. And as you exhale, press those ribs towards the floor, tucking tailbone underneath you. Feel for lengthening the lumbar spine. Let the neck soften, let the teeth separate slightly. On your next inhale, slowly draw your knees back to center and then lower both knees to the left. Feel for pressing the right shoulder, top of chest towards the floor. Take a long breath in, feel the swell of the upper right rib cage. And as you exhale, tuck your tailbone, feel for lengthening along the edge of your right thigh. And very slowly inhale, draw your knees back to center, straight into abdominals. Um, interlace your hands behind the base of the head. Pick your feet up off the floor, have your knees stacked directly over hips. Feet are very active. Let's do elbow to knee, moving into thigh traction. Take an inhale, lift head and shoulders partially off the floor. Hold the breath. Curl tailbone, flatten low back to mat. As you exhale, reach elbows towards the left thigh. Extend your right foot out 45 degrees. Pull belly down as you finish your exhale. Inhale, come back to center, knee stack. Hold the breath. Curl tailbone, flattening sacrum. Exhale, reach elbows to right thigh. Left foot extends, spread the toes. Feel for reaching through the left thigh bone. Pull belly down. You're not yanking on your neck and the front of your neck is soft. Inhale, back to center, full breath. How can you isolate this ab work without using the upper body? Hold breath, curl tailbone. Exhale, elbows reach to left thigh, right foot extends. Feel for squeezing your right glute on, it's gonna help. Wrap elbows up to ceiling, but mostly pull down through the area above the pubic bone. Inhale, back to center, full breath. Back of the neck is soft. Hold the breath, curl tailbone. Exhale, elbows to right thigh, left foot extends. Lengthen the left thigh, let the hip flexors soften. Squeeze left glute, pull belly downwards. Inhale, back to center, full breath. Hold the breath, curl tailbone, small flattening of sacrum, exhale. Elbows reach to left thigh. Now take your right foot straight up to ceiling, spread the toes, pick up your shoulder blades off the mat, pull belly down. Take an additional inhale, release your right hand, grab a handful of the top of your right thigh. As you exhale, lift the fleshy part of thigh upwards, wrap your left elbow skywards, pull belly down. Jaw is soft. Inhale, everything back to center. Hold the breath, curl tailbone. Exhale, reach elbows to right thigh. Take the left leg straight up to ceiling. Press through the big toe side of left foot. Wrap your shoulders around the underside of armpit. Take an inhale, left hand releases. Grab a handful of left thigh. Traction it up, push hand into thigh, thigh into hand, pull belly down. Inhale, back to center, one more big breath. Full breath, curl tailbone, exhale, elbows to left thigh. Right foot goes straight up. Press length through the thigh, lift your left shoulder blade off the floor. Inhale again, right hand grabs right thigh. As you exhale, press it up, 
wrap the shoulder, pull belly down, feel for connection to the low abdominals. Inhale, back to center, hands behind the head. Hold breath, curl tailbone, exhale, elbows to right thigh, left leg goes straight up. Wrap the shoulders, uh, take an additional inhale, left hand releases, grabs left thigh, lift it up, push back into the hand, wrap your right elbow, belly pulls down. Inhale, release it off. Head and shoulders down, feet down. Take your hands, place them on the low belly. So even if abdominals in your yoga practice, you sort of nemesis bit, Find a way to work with them rather than against them. Part of it's a block in your head normally. You know, honestly, the stories we tell ourselves about our tummy areas is just too much. Uh, it's not strong enough, it's too fat, it's too loose, you know. Especially women, you know, in particular, but and men, no, no discrepancy really. A lot of shame associated with this area of our body, we've got to get over ourselves. Very gently. <laughs> Let's go into bridge pose. I'd like you to have a court block handy. Place it within grabbable distance. Tuck your feet up to the bottom and stroke the backs of your heels. Reset hands to side. Take an inhale, press into active feet. Lift your hip girdle straight up to ceiling. When you get the hips high, just notice any um, kind of gripping or kind of extra grip, a uh, sort of tension around the shoulder line. The shoulders are weight bearing in this pose, but they are not grabbing and hiking themselves upwards. Let the hands be soft as they rest on the floor. Take an inhale, lift your hips one centimeter higher, engage glutes, press energy down the front line of your thighs. Grab your cork block, place it underneath your sacrum. Choose a height that works for you. Maybe the full height, maybe you're on medium height this morning. That's what feels right for you. Settle yourself back down onto the block and really absorb how good it is to be supported. Don't let the rest of your body go offline when you get the support. Keep the attention to detail. You can feel your feet. Inner thighs drawing towards each other. Walk your right foot a little more centered on the mat. Push through it. Inhale, draw left knee to chest. Take the left leg straight up to ceiling. Spread the toes, flaunt the foot. Feel for lengthening the thigh bone upwards. Take a breath here and arc your breath into the front ribs. So we kind of exaggerate the opening of getting the upper back. And then as you exhale, soften around the jaw. We're gonna move this left leg into whatever version of splits is available for you. So just start to gently draw the left thigh a little closer towards your chest. Leg stays as straight as is manageable. It's absolutely fine to have a small micro bend in the knee when your hamstring is tight, it's okay. Mostly what I want you to think about though is the big toe on your left foot. Look at it, you've probably got a bird's eye view. I want you to feel like you're pressing the pad of that left big toe away from the front of the room. Feel the inner line of your left leg kind of fire up. Maybe as you soften your breath, you then get a little more opening, keep reaching. Super active foot. Press again through the right foot, don't lose track of it. Draw the right knee to the midline. And then very slowly release the left leg, float the left foot back down to the mat, center it. Inhale, right knee to chest, take the right leg straight up. Straight up to ceiling to begin with. Soften the shoulders. Feel for energizing the big toe side of the right foot. This connection from the big toe to the groin through the inner line. Start to reach the right thigh a little closer towards the chest. 
but feel like it's the big toe side that's pressing and leading the way. It's a really interesting uh, nuance. Micro bend in knee is fine. And you go to where your body allows. You're not over efforting. This is not a push through, you know, get to the other side. This is, what can I feel if I breathe a little deeper? What exploring can I do rather than what pushing, shoving, fighting? It's not that. Keep your attention on your attention, yeah? Slowly release the right leg, float it back down to earth. Both feet press into mat, lift your hips off the block. Move the block to one side. Feel the connection of both feet down to the mat. Lift your hips, feel really strong through the front of the legs. As you exhale, slowly lower top back, mid back, low back, all the way to the floor. When you get grounded, take a breath. We really appreciate the flatness. Open your mouth side out. Slowly roll onto one side and press yourself all the way up to seated. Come and sit with one leg extended in Janu Sharasana. So you're sitting on your bottom. Take the right leg out, tuck your left heel in towards the groin. So we've already stretched the back of the leg out a bit. I want you to really feel a press down through the back of the right leg, flexing the foot. Take a hand to inner edge. Let's do a neck release. Float, hover, left hand just above the floor. Rather than watch your shoulders, right? Take an inhale, roll it out. Feel like someone's grabbed the middle finger of your left hand and is pulling it towards the floor. Let your neck completely go. Feel for reaching space into the left side of neck. Here's something to focus on. If you don't feel the neck, I mean, it's great to have a soft neck. What's easier is hanging the head slightly down and forwards. That's okay. Have a little explore of what it feels like when you roll your head and feel like the back of your skull actually leans back. It slightly <laughs> um, increases the stretch. If it feels manageable, breathe into it. If it's too much, come out of it. Find the perfect dosage. But what's interesting, especially if you do a lot of what of yoga, right, a lot of my practices, you can sleepwalk through some of it. We all do it. So every now and then you need to catch yourself coming into the pose the same old way. It feels a little different. Slowly <laughs> take this hand directly up, left hand straight up. Let's do a chest opener. Put a micro bend in your elbow. I'm also changing this today. Bring your arm more at shoulder height and then bring it back. I was playing around with this the other day. I felt a lot better. I felt a lot kind of more in the zone. So feel like you're reaching the arm behind you and really noticing that your shoulder is not rolling forwards, it's sliding shoulder blade down the back body, open the chest, brace yourself slightly against your extended right leg. <sighs> Shake out the head. <sighs> and then slowly release, come out of it all the way. Don't rush it, side of head, lift it up. That's another thing that we do. If you notice you're rushing or being like in a pose going, oh, come on, where's the next pose? That's your ego. <laughs> That's because you don't like sitting in the pose because it's kind of too interesting. <laughs> Extend the other leg, opposite left leg, right heel to groin, neck release. Hover right hand at a, about a foot off the floor, shoulder softens away, lean the head. Feel for letting the head go, stage one, no drishti. And then just notice if you gaze down at the floor, that's one pose. If you start to roll your head, feel like the back of the skull leans back. Oh yeah, that's a little more 
it's a little more. Maybe that's too much on the dial. Maybe it feels good. You work with it. But be fascinated, be curious about all the habits we get into. Take another deep breath, open the jaw, separate the teeth. Don't let that creep of tension get into there. Take the arms straight up and then lower it more to kind of shoulder height, spread the fingers. Take an inhale, pick up some length in the front of the chest and draw your arm behind you. Feel for sliding the right shoulder blade down the back. In fact, both shoulders, notice any hunching, I'm exaggerating. Pull both shoulder blades down, open yourself up. Let the head go. <sighs> no gripping around that jaw. Slowly float yourself up, cup side of head. Brilliant, come up onto all fours. Knees stacked under hips, hands stacked under shoulders. Just take a moment here. Let's do a cat, some cat cow tilts. Inhale, lower the belly. I want you to feel like you let the belly go. Stick your butt out behind you, chest raises. As you exhale, engage core, scoop the belly up, dome into all of the back body, pressing hands into mat, tuck chin, tuck tailbone. Again, inhale, lower down, slow, steady breath. Don't rush them. Exhale, press all the way up. Inhale, lower down, let the belly soften. Feel for dipping into the mid low back. Exhale, press up and away. Come back to neutral, take your hands slightly forward of your shoulders. Look at your hands, spread the fingers wide, turbo dog. Wrap your elbows towards each other, bend them so they hover just above the floor. Curl your toes, take an inhale. I want you to, rather than have the chest hanging down, inhale and do, dome into the mid back, mid upper back. Now straighten the legs, exhale. Let the core get busy again, scoop it up and under yourself. Know that your elbows want to flare outwards. Also realize that this is a pose in which struggle raises its head, right? <laughs> it's right there. It's like, really, are we doing this? First thing on a Tuesday morning. Press more actively through your feet, squeeze your inner thighs together. You've got three more breaths. Keep pulling your elbows towards each other, but steady your breath. You're not losing control, you're in the zone. Do a full lion's breath out. It's really helpful. Get over any shyness you've got about making weird noises. Straighten the arms. You're in damn dog, which feels like a breeze, right? Feels like something that's really nice. Pedal out the feet. And then slowly lower the knees again. Come down to the mat, kneel up. Just do a little wrist stretch here. Take your fingertips and point them back towards you and then place your hands maybe to the side of the knees or in front of the knees. Um, hopefully you can see this. Yeah. And start to push the heels of your hands down towards the floor. Shoulders often shrug up here. Take a very deliberate, slide the shoulder blades away from earlobes. Press down through the heel of the hand, feel the inner line of your forearm stretching and the wrist. You're not feeling it enough, you move the fingertips a little further forwards and you press down again. Let the neck and the back of the skull soften. Come out of this really slowly. Dolphin. Place your forearms down on the mat, elbows stacked under shoulders. To measure this up, grab a handful of the top of your bicep. So from front on, it looks like this. Pivot on your elbow tips, forearms straight out in front of you. Take a really big breath in. Feel for doming into the mid upper back. Curl toes, straighten the legs. 
Walk your feet in a little tighter. Your head is nowhere near the floor. Press into the forearms. Feel the pads of the fingers. <laughs> Touch the texture of the mat as you lift your butt a little higher. I like to have this image that someone's grabbed the waistband of my leggings and is hiking me upwards. And then I know the direction of where my inhale is going. It's going right up into the low lobes of the lungs. Shake out the head, yes, no. Let's just do an Achilles stretch here. Put your right foot a little more centered on the mat. Pick your left foot off the mat. Spread the two first toes apart. Hook those toes on the back of your right ankle heel and then pull your own right heel towards the floor, stretching out the back of the leg. Take a long breath in and a big breath out. <sighs> Release, left foot on the mat. Right foot, spread toes, hook onto back of left heel, pull down. Feel for pressing the heel as low as it will go. Push back into your forearms, lift your butt. Press the heel down a little lower, last breath. <sighs> Come out of this gently. Hands to mat, step back into down dog. Feel as you pedal out now in down dog, a little difference between the backs of the legs from that stretch. Walk your hands forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Feet hip distance, hang the hips. Um, take an inhale, lift some length into your front of chest and then feel like you drape yourself down. Your knees can be really bent, by the way. I, I care very little about how straight your legs are. I want you to get a stretch into sacrum, right here, low back, yeah, feel it. Take your hands up above you, interlace, clasp hands and reach your clasped hands up to ceiling, let the head hang. Back of the neck, soft. <sighs> Activate your feet more. Look at them just briefly. Glance at the arches. Feel like they're turned on, the arches of the foot. Release hands. Soften knees again. Come all the way up to standing with a flat back. Come to stand at the front of your mat for sun salutations. Um, please get a block at the front of your mat, two blocks if you've got them. Um, extra padding for knees, useful. Music, play the music. If you've got that. I keep saying this, but if anyone wants a play, I've got various playlists on Spotify if you want the sort of stuff I play in class. Okie dokie. Tadasana, mountain pose. So remember, we're working with this, finding the right kind of pathway, dosage, right? Feel it in your sons. Take an inhale, telescope ribs. Feel for length. Exhale, forward fold, let the head hang. Softness in the jaw. Lunge, left foot steps behind you, knee down. Take a full breath in here. Lift your arms to ceiling. Press into your left hip. Wrap your shoulders. Exhale, plank, hands to mat, step back. Take a breath in your plank. Feel for pushing the floor away and engaging your core. Exhale, knees lower, chest lowers all the way down. Do it slowly, grazing ribs to bicep. Inhale, low cobra, hands slightly forward of shoulders. Use this space to press your front ribs through the arms. Exhale, drag length, down dog. Left leg lunges to front of mat, right knee down. Take a long, steady breath in. Feel for pressing actively through the top of the right foot. Exhale, float to forward fold. Place your feet gently on the mat. Inhale, root to rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do a sun B. Inhale, chair pose. Sink the butt low. Tuck your tailbone firmly. Exhale, deep forward fold, hang down. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands on shins or the floor, lengthen back body. Exhale, step or hop into plank. Take an additional breath in plank. Inhale, push into armpits, tuck tailbone. Exhale, knees lower or you can come through full chaturanga. Inhale, low cobra, up dog. Exhale, down dog. 
Step your left foot to front of mat, warrior one. Front foot straight, back foot 45 degrees. It's a slow, long inhale, floating arms to ceiling. And as you exhale, it's as steady, floating them back down. Plant your hands, plank, step back. Take a breath in plank, inhale, engage core. Exhale, knees lower, or you come through full chaturanga, yogi's choice. Inhale, low cobra, up dog. Feel for lengthening the front of the collarbones. Exhale, down dog. Right foot, warrior one, steps forward. Inhale, rise up slowly, pressing actively through the outside edge of left foot. Exhale, float the hands back down. Palms, fingers spread, step into plank. Take a breath, inhale, push floor away, scoop into armpits. Exhale, knees lower, tuck tailbone, chest lowers all the way down. Modified chaturanga. Inhale, low cobra, lift and lengthen. Exhale, down dog. Take three breaths in down dog. Option to wrap elbows, lower them for turbo dog. Work in a way that feels like you meet the pose and lean into it exactly where you're meant to be. You need to start listening in order to do that. Straighten arms if they weren't already in down dog. Look between your hands. Maybe bend the knees, step or hop between the hands. Take an inhale, halfway lift, long back. Exhale, forward fold, let the head hang. Chair, inhale, butt low, squeeze your sit bones. Exhale, come to standing, hands to heart center. Sun A, right side, inhale, telescope ribs. Exhale, forward fold, knees can be a little soft. Step your right foot behind you, lower the knee to the mat. As you inhale, you're in a low lunge, sweep the arms skywards. Exhale, hands float to mat, plank, step back. Inhale in plank, engage your belly. Everyone, modified chaturanga, knees lower, chest lowers. Do it so slowly, you feel the upper back muscles working. Hands forward of shoulders, inhale, low cobra. Exhale, down dog. Right leg lunges forward, left knee down. Take a long breath in, sweep the arms skywards. Exhale, all the way to the mat, step into forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, come up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. Two part vignettes, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, all the way down. Halfway lift, inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or hop into plank. Take a breath here, push the belly up. Exhale, knees lower, chest lowers. Modified chaturanga. Inhale, low cobra. Feel for squeezing shoulder blades together. Exhale, down dog. Step your left foot to front of mat for extended warrior. We're in warrior two foot position. You will need a block. So front foot is straight, back foot 90 degrees. If you drew a line from your left heel, it would intersect the right archer foot. Take the block to inner edge of the left foot. Slide your left hand down onto the block and feel like you press into it. So there's no kind of collapse. This is a definite effort moment, but not an over efforting moment. Let the head go and then reach initially right hand up to ceiling for a chest opening experience. It was really similar to what we did in the warm up. Feel for reaching the right hand behind the line of the body. Let the head completely soften. The really key bit is the underside of the left armpit, right? Because it's not a shrug, it's a push into your serratus, a rolling open of chest, arm reaches. Let's come into the full pose, wrap this top arm, reach the fingers across the top line of the body as if you're Pulling length through the whole of your right side. 
Start by plugging your right foot outside edge, little toe side to the floor. And then reach all across the side ribs, hip, right into the right fingertips. Let the head go. Roll your chest open, last challenge. Rather than hunkering forwards, roll yourself open and reach again. <sighs> Release. Mancoon, lizard. Both hands come to inside edge of left foot. Roll onto the ball of your back right foot. Feel for lengthening the right thigh and pressing into right hip flexor. Take an inhale, lift the chest, unfurl yourself. As you exhale, bend your elbows, start to lower your whole torso in one flat line down towards the mat. Just see where you get to. The outside edge of your left hip thigh is getting a deep stretch. The front of your right thigh, because you're pushing this heel away, is feeling opened up. If you're very open, you might bring elbows to the floor. You might use a block to put your elbows on. All of this stuff is, um, you know, possible. <sighs> Take one more breath, pull the left knee in towards the left shoulder. Feel that <laughs> inner thigh activate. Here's your power option. Press hands actively into floor. Lift your left foot off the floor, hover it just underneath your chest and then step it back for plank. Take a breath. Exhale, knees lower, chest lowers all the way down. Low cobra, inhale, chest lifts, elbows, sorry, <laughs> shoulders draw back. Down dog. Exhale out. Step your right foot to front of mat for extended warrior. Bring a block with you, make sure it's available. Front foot straight, back foot 90 degrees. Place the block to inner edge of foot. You choose a level right. I like the high level because I just like to not feel that I'm, I'm so, my ego is so keen on this, getting low, that I lose the opening, right? So if you're very open, of course, have a lower level of block. Reach the arm up. Chest opener, take it behind you. Feel for, there it is, spreading your wings. <sighs> Deepen the right knee bend, that gets you powered up by those legs. Both feet active, feel the outside edge of your left foot press to mat. Wrap the top arm, reach it across you and feel for a little lubrication through the shoulder. And then <laughs> you gotta do the roll out. Bend a little deeper through the right knee, reach from left fingertips through the arm, through the side body to left edge of foot. Can you still take a deep breath? That's your up level. <sighs> and can you do it without gripping, grabbing, struggling with the pose? <sighs> Release, lizard, mancoon, move the block. Walk your right foot to edge of mat, come onto ball of left foot, both hands on the inner side of the right foot. Take an inhale, tuck your tailbone, lengthen your chest. As you exhale, bend the elbows, lower yourself down slowly to the inner edge of that right shin. See where you get to, feel for pressing the right knee in towards the shoulder. Don't let the left leg go kind of lazy on you, press through it. But if it's too intense, and you've got to judge this, right? If you're not able to breathe, you obviously can lower the left knee to the mat. Works just as well, the left knee can be down. Okay, hands back onto the mat, spread the fingers wide. Lift your right foot up, hover it just underneath the chest, groin, step it back. Plank, take an inhale, scoop belly. Exhale, knees lower, chest lowers all the way down. Inhale, low cobra, lift and lengthen. Exhale, down dog. Take three big breaths in down dog. If you feel like you need more of a pause, child's pose is always an option. 
If you need a little more oomph, Turbo Dog is an option. Three options. Pedal out the feet, <laughs> whichever one you're in. Backs of the legs opening up. Let's join in down dog. Step your left foot to front of mat and pause. When you get the left foot there, put a hand on either side of it. You're up on your fingertips. You come onto the ball of the back right foot. So it feels like you're in a low runner's lunge. Press actively through the front of the right hip. Take an inhale here. I want you to become aware of your core. <laughs> Scoop your Uddiyana Banda up, your sense of sucking in on yourself, knitting your abdominals together. Drive energy through the front left foot. Take an inhale, float the arms just to hover above the left leg and then come all the way up to straight. <sighs> Bring your arms into goddess. So um, little goalpost arms. Press through the right heel, lengthen the right thigh. Take a long, deep, slow, steady breath. Maybe a soft lion's breath out. One more here. Steadying yourself with the, <laughs> the calm of your breath, which is you know, slightly tricking your body into thinking everything's okay, even though it's working hard. Release. Hands are going to float back down to frame the left foot. You might have to hop the back foot in a little bit, standing splits, moving into a quad stretch. Float your right leg upwards. So now you're balancing on your left leg. The trick here is to not lose connection with the right foot. Visualize it up there, alone in space. <sighs> Fingertips on the floor. If you don't quite reach, blocks. Use props, yeah? Don't be worried about using props. Whatever you need. Stay here, reaching the right leg skywards. Or option to bend the right leg. Hang the right foot down by the left buttock. Bravely lift up your left hand. You're using your right hand to steady yourself and find your right foot up there. It's there. <laughs> oh, it's like the proprioception helps in the end. And you've got hold of your right toes, foot. Lift your right thigh higher. You let you pull length through the inner line of that right thigh. <sighs> Shake out the head, no neck. Float slowly, right foot back down. Step back into plank, take a breath. Push the floor away, scoop belly. Exhale, knees lower, chest lowers. All the way down, slow and steady. Hands move forward of shoulders, take an inhale. Squeeze your pubic bone towards belly button, lift your chest, go cobra. Exhale, draw yourself down. Reset, down dog. Step right foot to front of mat for lunge. Don't lower the back left knee. Frame with fingertips the right foot. Get yourself set up for this. Make sure you're on a wide railway track. Ball of the left foot pressing, in, pressing down. Inhale, I want you to become aware of your core and tuck, this is really important. Tuck your tailbone underneath you. Feel like your glutes are <laughs> with you. Inhale, float your arms, hover just momentarily over the front right thigh. And then inhale, come all the way up, pressing through the right leg. Goddess arms, spread the fingers. Feel for <laughs> opening the chest in your goddess, drawing elbows just a little bit beyond the line of the shoulder. <sighs> Deepen the opening through the front of your left thigh. Feel for pressing the left heel away. Take a spacious breath, telescope ribs upwards away from the hips. As you exhale, soften your shoulders, let the neck go. Release hands, they float to frame again the right foot. Hop the left foot in a little bit. Press actively through right foot and float the left leg up, standing splits. Let the head hang, feel for oh, shaking out the back of the neck. 
Visualize your left foot up there, <laughs> floating around. Feel the big toe side, the inner line. Bend the left knee, let the foot hang. This might be the stage you get to because you might not be able to take a hand off the floor, it's okay. Otherwise, right hand reaches up. Somewhere, <laughs> the foot is there. Grab it, and then don't just kind of let the knee lower, take the left knee higher. Feel for opening through the front of the quad. <sighs> Heel draws to butt, left knee reaches. Release, slowly float the left foot back. Step back into down dog. Take a breath in down dog. Child's pose, always an option. Turbo dog, an option. Notice this. Notice if you choose the, um, in inverted commas, you know, harder option, because that is your mindset, right? It's not worth it unless it's kind of giving you a bit of, you know, intensity. Sometimes you explore and find better things out if you take it easier. Just notice what you're doing things for and why. Slowly, third vignette, step left foot to front of mat, pyramid. So, everyone come up to standing. The left foot is straight, the back foot is slightly turned out. Both legs are straight and your hips are squared to short top end of mat. Take an inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, forward fold with a long flat back. You probably get to about halfway and you think, okay, that's, I can feel my hamstring. Take your left hand, push it into the top of your left thigh and cover it with your right hand. At which point I want you to press into this area and feel like you scoop your collarbones forward and up. You can stay here. This is actually a really nice place to stay and work the hamstring stretch. If you know you can keep the back straight and get deeper, walk your hands towards the shin. Again, you might stay here, lengthening through crown of head, maybe beginning to soften and drape yourself across the left thigh. Blocks, super helpful. If you've got two of them, you can stand them upright and get a delicious kind of front of chest opening. If you've just got one, you can put both hands on one block. That also works. If you're coming a little deeper, fingertips might be on the floor. Keep lengthening through the front of the belly. Okay, listen up. Hamstring stretches are, um, they need to be approached with a little caution. Don't overdo these, please. I, honestly, I've done it. Actively engage the stretch. Squeeze your left glute into the midline. Feel like you're trying to plug your sit bone, left sit bone to the top of your hamstring. And then stretch it out. So you're actively turning the attachment area on as you stretch it. So glute is fully with you. Slowly, <laughs> twisting triangle, grab that block, place it probably high side up to the inner edge of your left foot. At this point, you'll lengthen your torso again. Feel like you're reaching through the crown of the head forwards. Float on an inhale, left arm to ceiling and rotate your chest to the left. Let the head go. IT band stretch, lifting through the top left fingers Press actively through the left foot and draw your left hip back, right hip forwards. So the outside edge of your left thigh is getting a little bit of stretch. It's also a twist, so think about your length. Inhale, ribs extend. And as you exhale, maybe that top left hand can float a little further open. Feel the chest opener. Release, hand comes down. Both hands to mat, step back into down dog. Take a breath. Let's do one leg lift, put weight into right foot. Inhale, take the left leg straight up to ceiling. So you on the hip out, bend the left knee, hang the foot down. Feel for lifting and opening the front of the left thigh as you 
reach space into the front of the hip. Should feel really good. <sighs> Shake out the head, yes, no. Make sure you've got even weight on the hands. Don't lean heavily to one side. Release, float the left leg down. Step your right foot to front of mat for pyramid. Back foot 45 degrees, about three to three and a half feet distance between the legs. Hands on hips. Take an inhale, lengthen the front body as you exhale, forward fold. Pause a moment, adjust, right hip back, left hip forwards. In fact, put your right hand in the top of that thigh, cover it with the left, push into that area and lengthen through the back body. Already getting the hamstring stretch, maybe squeezing that right glute into the midline. If you want to go deeper, walk hands to shin. Keep lengthening the back. If you've got the props, the blocks, use them. Do whatever feels good. Fingertips might reach the floor. Notice being in this pose and really folding in on yourself because that's not it. The belly, keep thinking about taking an inhale and lifting the belly button away from the pubic bone. It really changes everything. It's a really interesting sort of little move. Let the head hang, <sighs> shake it out. <sighs> Draw again the right hip back, left hip forward. Squeeze your right buttock firmly into the top of the hamstring. Notice that activation as well. There's nothing kind of, you're not just hanging in your flexibility. That's a really dangerous thing to do in yoga. Everything is an active stretch. Very gently, <laughs> grab a block. If you don't already have one there, place it to inner edge of right foot. Put your left hand on it, lengthen through the crown of the head and square yourself off. Take an inhale, right arm floats up. Rotate, twisting triangle, let the head go. It's a very open face twisting triangle because all this stuff about putting blocks on either side and doing this, that's great if you're open, but you still get the stretch here and you don't have the chance of, um, you know, pushing yourself too far. Draw the right hip back, left hip forward, spread the fingers of the right hand behind you. Let the head go. If you are slumped into your left shoulder, pick up some space in the left armpit, push it away. And roll yourself open. Float back down, hands to mat. Step back into down dog. Come down onto knees and kneel up. Here are your options for your final peak pose. If you have access to wall space and you want to do something on the wall, down dog on the wall with splits. So you're in down dog on the wall for three to five breaths, then you open one leg out for three to five breaths. You could actually do splits up the wall. I did this last week. Um, I'm gonna just demo this, okay? Splits up the wall sounds really scary, but it's not. You basically come near a wall with your feet up the skirting board and you come into down dog, right? So this would be how you start down dog on the wall as well. Rest assured that you'll feel like it's too tight and your bottom's too close to the wall, that's okay. Your knees can be really bent, okay? Pick up a leg and take the leg up the wall. And there it is, splits up the wall. If you wanna work more, you walk the hands in, you can come more into a handstand up the wall, which point your bottom leg might free float. You do suspended splits. Um, these are all options. <laughs> Down dog on the wall, right angle, leg extends for splits. If you don't want to do any of that, please do dolphin on your mat with a leg lifted, five to eight breaths each side. So choose your option wisely. <laughs> what does your body feel like it needs? There is no down level to doing dolphin on the mat for five to eight breaths. You're really focusing on this. It's an incredibly powerful pose. Your legs are a little bit more open now. You should be able to get those, that split 
sensation a little deeper. Notice your tendency to rush between the um, elements of the pose as well. Do everything like you're really cool as a cucumber. <laughs> so even when you lower the leg down from something, place it in places, do it really slowly and with real attention to detail because that's how you kind of get that sort of slow motion um, sensation as you're working. I was talking to someone the other day, uh, really interesting, she was, we were talking about slowing down and societally, societally, we're not very good at slowing down. And the reason we don't like slowing down is because slowing down is really emotionally confrontational. You slow down, you have to feel stuff. <laughs> You've got to work through stuff. And that's not what most of us like doing. So think about that. Think about how actually the up level is slowing down. Okay, let's lie down on our backs. Let's end with a straight leg twist. Take both legs down the mat. Inhale, draw your left knee to chest, hug it in. Take your right hand to outside edge of left knee and roll over. So you come into a twist, left arm extends to side. Your option is to then straighten your left leg and lower it to the floor. This is quite a big opening, but we're pretty warmed up for this. You don't want to have the left leg extended. You keep the left knee bent and you just do a normal supine twist. This gets a little deeper into the low back, but also into IT band and the outside edge of hip. Keep feeling for softening the left shoulder down towards the mat. Bend the left knee if it was straight, draw the left leg back to center, be flat on the back. Extend left leg down the mat, draw right knee to chest, hug it in. Left hand to outside edge of right knee, roll it across you, come onto edge of left hip. So that's your twist, arm extends, right arm extends. You'd like to go deeper, lengthen and straighten the right leg across the body. Can't demo on this side, I've got the wall. <laughs> That's my excuse. Slow your breaths down and fill the side ribs, the low lobes of the lungs with all that goodness of breath. And then gently come back to center and come into Shavasana. Extend yourself lengthways down the mat hands to either side of the body, any extra layers of clothing, blankets, eye pillows, all the, all the good props. Check in with your shoulder girdle, slide your shoulder blades a little further down, they always hunch up. <laughs> Pesky little buggers they are. Close your eyes and come into Shavasana.
Start to become aware of your breaths. Take a really long, slow inhale and feel it move through the torso. Bring a little movement into fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. And then very gently extend yourself lengthways. So reach the arms above, point toes away from you. Feel a long opening, especially through the front of the hips, right? And the front of the thighs and the legs. Draw knees in towards you, hug them in. Roll onto one side, doesn't matter which. Choose what is available for you, maybe in the space you're in. And just pause when you get onto the side, keep your eyes shut. Take a very deliberate breath. I want you to feel the breath pressing into the ribs that are resting on the mat. And keep this attention on the breath as you lie here. When perfectionism is driving us, shame is riding shotgun and fear is the annoying backseat driver. So instead, let go of who you think you are supposed to be and be who you are instead. Remember, the control was never yours. Loosen the grip and slowly open each palm. Breathe the good things into being. Let these feed and teach you because they will. Very gently press yourself up to seated. Hands into prayer at center of chest. Take a long, lengthy breath in. And an equally lengthy breath out. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, let's go together. Namaste. Thank you very much, everyone. Lovely to see you all.